Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to show you how to solve the number of one bits problem. Write a function that takes an unsigned integer and return the number of one bits it has, also known as the Hamming weight. So for example, they give you this number. Um, in binary, this number has three ones, so your function returns three, the number of bits that are one. Here, they give you this number as input. In binary, this is the representation. And there's only one one. So your function returns one. Because there's only one bit that is one. And here, as you can see, example three, they give you this number. So in binary, this is the representation. And there are 31 ones. So your function returns 31. So this is also called the Hamming weight, the number of ones in binary, in the binary representation of a number. So how can we solve this problem? Uh, what we can do is that we, we're going to use bitwise operators. So we're going to have a variable, the count or the result, and we're going to shift um, every iteration. We're going to shift to the right, and we're going to examine the rightmost bit. And if it is a 1, we add 1 to the count. If it is a 0, we add 0 to the count. So we add nothing to the count. And the way that we're going to check the rightmost bit is by using the bitwise end operator. So I'm going to I'm going to show you how to write the code and then I'm going to show you an example so you understand what I mean. So first, um, I'm going to say int result because of value of 0 for integer i because of value of 0 i is less than integer dot size plus plus i so this loop is gonna iterate the number of times of the size of the integer so in this case an integer is 32 bits so this loop is gonna iterate it's gonna repeat 32 times so every time I want to increment the count, so I'm going to say result gets a value of n bitwise end 1. Actually, plus equals n bitwise end 1. And n gets a value of n shifted to the right by 1. Then finally, I return the result. Now I'm going to check. As you can see, this is working perfectly. So what I meant is that this is what I'm doing here. Let's say that they give you this number as n. So this is in binary. And this is 1 in binary. So by doing a bitwise end of this number n and this 1, you know that you're going to get all this is going to become all this is going to be ignored because this is going to become zero because the one has all zeros but the rightmost digit is going to determine if you get a one or a zero if you have a one at the rightmost position then you're going to get a one if you have a zero at the rightmost position then you're going to get a zero because zero bitwise end one is zero so false and one is false False and true is false. So then every time I'm going to say result is initially zero because in this case the rightmost digit is a zero. When I do bigwise end with one, you add zero to result so it remains a zero. And then you shift to the right. When you shift to the right, you add a zero here and remove this here. So now one bigwise end one is one so you add one to result. So now you have one and then you shift again to the right by adding a zero here and removing this here. Zero bitwise end one is zero, so you add zero, so the result is the same. Shift to the right again and remove this. One bitwise end one is one, so you add one to it and then result is two. Shift to the right again and remove this. So as you can see, this is the process and it's going to tell you how many bits are set to 1. The solution is working perfectly. 
Uh, please don't forget to subscribe. Please like the video and see you next time.